What is up, my camera crew? We are, you know what, where are we? Look at this place. We are over in California. We are at the Eclectic West. Welcome to my 40 acre film ranch, the Eclectic West. Come on in. For those of you that don't know, uh, this is like the Buff Nerds, Jacob Owens, like one of his many sets. Um, this is only one spot. This is like a plane crash scene. This place is, this place is wild. Like, I've wanted to shoot you for the last year and a half. Never had an opportunity to come from Nashville to here. And now uh, we do. We're here shooting with Nate Smith, doing a couple visualizers. We're in California today. We go to Vegas for three days, and then we go to Scottsdale, Arizona. And we're getting like, I think like five or six different visualizers. I'm taking you guys on a trip with me. Yeah, this is insane. I mean, look at this place. We have a bunch more all the way over there and I'll be showing you guys all that stuff, but I mean, come on. It doesn't get any better. I'm super pumped about this. We'll go over the gear we're doing, some of the different setups we're doing. Yeah, I'm loving it. This is incredible. Love you guys. I know I haven't been on here for a while, but you know what? We're gonna start doing more vlogging on sets. Like I do a lot of set work. I do a lot of DP directing. So yeah, I wanna show you guys some of that. And obviously I'll still do tutorials for those of who you, you know want that uh, type of content. We're still gonna do those. But I also wanna start showing you guys a little bit about what I do. What? Come on. Hello? Hello? No, you guys aren't answering. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're just taking a little drive around the property. We got just these like hilly, rocky hills. As far as the eye can see, got a little piano. Drew's over there messing with it, but I don't know, we might do something with Nate over there. We're not sure yet. Beautiful property. So yeah, I think we're gonna go back, prep the Sonys and get ready for our first shot. place is wild so earlier we got to walk through there and see the convenience store which is absolutely insane they got the st like the shelves all stocked it looks real and if you follow jacob owens or the buff nerds you've obviously seen them shooting there but it's just cool to be out here like look at this thing there's so much land here and so much like opportunity i mean come on like this is where we're shooting the first visualizer for nate i'm not don't think i'm allowed to say what it is However, like, I mean, look at this. This is wild. Like, the possibilities here are endless. Like, come on. Sometimes I forget how cool this stuff actually is. So, yeah, so we're gonna pretty much be shooting in this thing, in this garage. Shooting this way, we're gonna utilize this as backlight, and obviously, this is backlight. We have one aperture uh p or we have one aperture 300x with a soft box that's all we brought one c stand so we are very limited on light so we're gonna have to get creative and uh it'll kind of push us in the sense of um how we can pull this off but i know we can do it all right here we go An assortment of lenses, ND filters, step up ring, media, and then both Sony A7S threes are in here. <clears throat> I 
We got one Sony a7S3, two Sony a7S3s, and I will tell y'all in a little bit why we decided to go with these for this shoot specifically and not to use, because we own a Komodo, but um, they just chose not to use it for this shot, uh, run and gun setup, and I'll explain why um, and why we decided to go with these instead. But until then, I'm gonna start or keep unpacking all this gear. We also have Ronin, DJI Ronin, the original, like Ronin S. Would love a new one, but uh, you know, I'd rather spend my money on other things, I guess. So I would uh, keep in that while it works. Because we're just invading my YouTube video. Are you? Yeah, I'm yeah. filming right now. Don't listen to this guy, he knows nothing. So we got the 35 1.4 on this camera and we got the 24 to 70 on this Sony. And the reason we're going with Sony's, and like I mentioned earlier, we had a Komodo, we do have a Komodo, is that with, we were able to get a ton more like pretty lenses that would be perfect for like what we're gonna be doing out here. Cause yes, like the Komodo would be great out here, but we're gonna be doing some shows. We're gonna be shooting in Vegas and all the things where we're going to need this dual native ISO. So for those of you who don't know, like these Sony's in like S log three can go 640 as a native ISO and 12,800. So pretty much you're shooting with night vision. So having that and the ability to get really clean, low light video, these are going to come in clutch for like those shows. And like, we're doing like a party thing with cheat codes at a DJ, like a DJ thing. So these are going to be just better with the autofocus and everything else, just running gun setups, loving on Sony. Sony, sponsor us. Give us give us the FX6, FX3. Give us the Venice. But uh, Chris just brought over the lighting. We're going to get a lighting set up and uh, get these cameras up and ready to shoot. Okay. All right, real quick. So our setup in here is we have one Aperture 300X. We're gonna put the light dome on it to key Nate. And if we look right over here, we're gonna have backlit right there from that door. We got some side lighting. Oh, that's what we do. And we got this bad boy 300X. We're gonna light dome it. So he's gonna walk out from outside. We're gonna shoot a bunch of stuff outside that door by that gas tank and I'll show you where it is. And he's gonna walk in like he's sad and kind of like broken down. He's walking into like right about right where that corner of that light is. This thing will make a nice pretty light and then he's gonna start his performance. So it's gonna be sick. This lighting setup is very scaled down, but I think it's gonna be very, very pretty, very moody. And that's exactly what they're going for. So I love it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like once it's all set up. Let's see. You see that? Right over here, that RV. That's how we're gonna start the video. Nate's gonna hop out of there like he's stranded or kind of like broken down and lost. He's gonna walk his way up into here. And then there's a store in there that I think we're actually gonna end up renting. So I'll show, or renting. So I'll show you guys that. So once he's gonna go in the store, look for someone, no one's gonna be here. He's gonna walk into the shop where we have it lit and then do his performance but it'll be kind of like a cool little intro to the video give it more of a cinematic feel into like this really cool performance so i'm excited for this i don't know how much i'll be able to show y'all of what's going on um but i'll try to bring you along and show you different shot setups and everything but here's that shot like how freaking sick like how cool is that he's gonna come in through that door walk in and see nobody and then go into the show all right we're set up we're ready to shoot the performance here in the garage we got chris mr director extraordinaire right back here doing his thing got the lighting set up it's gonna be exciting uh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
finally can do that, so it's like so nice. And I would say, you know what, I have that voice. So we just wrapped up shooting over here in that garage, outside of the garage, in the convenience store. We got all of that stuff and that is for one visualizer. And now we're going all the way back into that open desolate area that I showed y'all earlier. And we're gonna do like a one take and we sped the song up like, two, like 200 times. So we sped up the song so we can shoot in like 60 frames per second. And when we slow that down, it is going to seem like everything is in slow motion, but yet his mouth matches the song. So it's going to be like a slow motion one take video. It's going to be super, super cool. I'm uh, very excited to do it. It's going to be out here in the desert. So like, come on, it's freaking awesome. So yeah, it's been a blast bringing you all along with us. Like we've now like wrapped this up completely. We are now going to be, like I said, heading over there, shooting the last visualizer and then it's pack up and off to Vegas, baby. So it's been fun. It's been fun to vlog and show you all a little bit of like what I do. And this is very stripped down. A lot of times we have huge, you know, crews and huge sets shooting on like reds and everything else. So it's been fun to kind of strip it down and get back to the basics. So uh, love you guys. And I'm going to show you, uh, you know, when we're doing this uh, slow motion one take. All right. As you guys can see, we're out here. The, Nate's the getting touched up. We're out here. This is going to be our backdrop. We're going to walk down this road. Literally just a one take with the Ronin. We got the Sony A7S III. We got the 2040-70 G Master. We're just going to literally do a simple walk back and he's going to sing it double time and it's going to slow it down and be slow motion. It's going to be a beautiful shot. Easy concept, but yet something really, really cool. Alrighty, we did it. We finished the videos uh, at the Eclectic West. It was absolutely incredible. And now we are here in Vegas, baby. So we're here for, I think, two and a half or three days. We have a couple shows. We're doing some stuff with the cheat codes with Nate Smith. So yeah, it's gonna be really fun. We're filming all of it. This is gonna be turned into visualizers. So we got a pretty cool little room. I'll do a, an actual room tour tomorrow. And, uh, but yeah, thank you all for just coming along on this ride with me. It was a really fun to shoot at the Eclectic West. Um, been wanting to shoot there for so long. I know that me and Chris have been trying to lock it in and here we did, we finally locked it in and got to go out there. So Jacob Owens, Buff Nerds, Thomas Sauter, all you guys, great job out there. It was fun. It was a really good time. And uh, glad you guys got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of how we put together this like run and gun setup while we're traveling and like on a bare bones package. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll link all the gear that we use today in the or, uh, in the description. So if you guys want to see like what we're doing, what we're using on these run and gun shoots, you guys can check that out as well. But uh, I love all you guys, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one.